Wasa ili ewe 
Discouragement in the name of Jesus, stagnation. Zila sote azita shindwa. Zila zalana zavinyo vionatamu yaliyo nenwa. Zila sote zamagonja waliyo kufa azita tuka atuta tuandama katika jina la Yesu. Zila zaukowe tu azita tufata in the name of Jesus. Zila zawazazi wetu katika magabao ya kisa hayata tufata katika jina la Yesu. Zila zamakabila yetu hayata tufata katika jina la Yesu. Baba tuko uhuru mbele yako we are free we are your servant God we glorify your name we bless your name we lift your name we are free ranta rama yante rebe katala mosaya ima tekele me sandarabu maroza kutelewesha baraka zetu tilaza kutelewesha baraka zetu haitafaulu in the name of Jesus Father we thank you and we bless you we bless you ima takala mosaya in the name of Jesus Nataka useme nyuma yangu Sema baba Katika jina la Yesu Hakuna sila Iliyowekwa Kinyume changu Itafaulu Sema nakata 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 Sila za magonjwa Sila za kuchangani Holy name. 
Shetani hauna mamlaka juu ya maisha yetu. You will not fight all. We will stand firm before God in the name of Jesus. You will not separate us even in the ministry. You will not separate us even in our call. You will not put discord in our meetings in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. You are a great and a mighty God. Thank you. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for your glory and honor. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Tupigie bwana makofi mazuri tena. Pigie bwana makofi mazuri. We thank you Lord. God is good. And all the time. Yes, God is good. He'll ever he'll always be good. Bwana sifiwe. Mungu atazidi kuwa mzuri. Na Mungu apatanishwi na mabaya bwana sifiwe mungu si mbaya is a good god and he'll always remain to be good praise the lord god will never change his mind whatever he has spoken he will do it kila ambacho amenena atalitenda believe that amen ignore some voices praise the lord tuache kusikiza sauti zingine tusikize sauti ya mungu Nilipokuwa nasoma juu ya Batimaeus, Batimaeus alisikia ni Bartholomew alisikia sauti ya Mungu ikimwambia Yesu akikuguza utapona. Praise the Lord. Alisikia hiyo sauti. Na akaanza kushout Jesus, give me sight, give me sight. Lakini kulikuwa na voices. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Kulikuwa na voices hata ya disciples wakimpin down, don't speak. Keep quiet. Don't speak. Praise the Lord lakini yeye kwa sababu ya hiyo voice alisikia na ika ignite moyo wake aibu ikamuondokea akaweka aibu chini na akasema i want to call on jesus today is my day praise the lord today is my day brothers may pin you down even in the house of god they may pin you down but there is a voice you have heard even in your call bwana sifiwe umesikia bwana amekuita we mwimbaji kuna watu wanakufinya even in the house of god don't listen to those voices ignore them hallelujah even your inner voice could there some them some voice you have yourself kuna vile unaweza jizungumzia useme mimi siwezi mimi mimi ni dhaifu that is you bwana sipiwe that is not god ignore that voice and listen to the voice of god amen kama mungu alikuahidi kitu stick to that stick to that voice sema baba uliniahidi hii na sauti ambayo inaniambia siwezi na kulinganisha na wengine ninakataa in Jesus name amen listen to the voice of god the presence of god here is here i can feel the presence of god here there's somebody mungu anaenda kuguza siku ya leo bwana anaenda kuponya mtu siku ya leo bwana anaenda kukomboa mtu siku ya leo bwana anaenda kuinua mtu siku ya leo umeshushwa moyo god is going to raise you unaenda kuondoka hapa kama umebadilishwa because the house of god is a workshop of souls amen in a workshop ya mioyo god is changing you through his word you could be saying amen amen hallelujah bwana wabariki sana karibuni sana kwa ibada ya leo uh, tumekuwa na ibada ya kwanza hii ya pili tunashukuru kwa sababu bwana anatupeleka mbali amen naona tunarejea katika hali ya kawaida na we thank god for that Kupigie bwana makofi pasta anapokaribia tupokee neno siku ya leo amen karibu mchungaji amen 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 nashukuru kwa nafasi ambayo bwana ametupa tukaweze kuwa katika uwepo wake katika jina la Yesu nataka kabla tujengia kwa neno i want us to pray for this nation nataka tuombe taifa hili kuna kitu bwana aliweka ndani ya moyo wangu jana usiku na kile kiko ni kuwa people assume things will happen things will go well na that is what happened in 207 kanisa ili assume mambo siasa ikaenda ingine ikachanganya watu but behind the politics the devil was planning to destroy the nation bwana itwasifie people engaged in politics 
but behind the politics people never knew hawakujua kwa sababu walikuwa naongea siasa na mambo kama yale na ika move kanisa instead of praying kanisa ilifikiri vile mambo inakuanga hivyo ndivyo itakavyokuwa let us pray against the spirit of violence in this nation bwana itasifiwe let's pray that god's will will be done mapenzi ya mungu yatatendeka na tukatae kila mipango shetani ambayo amepanga hata katika jina ya siasa bwana itasifiwe let's pray that God's will will be done. Ndako chukue tu dakika tatu inua tu mkono wako. Pray for this nation. Ombea nchi hii. Ombea viongozi, all leaders in this nation. Omba ya kuwa Bwana atawatumia kuleta amani. In the spirit of violence, roho ya kuchafuka, roho ya kuambribu mambo katika jina la Yesu. Lord, we pray for this nation. We connect it with your agenda. Tunaungani taifa letu na mipango yako na makusudi yako katika jina la Yesu we cancel every plan of the devil and the scheme the devil is using whether in the name of politics tunavunja katika jina la Yesu and we pray release your blessing release your unity katika jina la Yesu naombea kila kiongozi kuanzia kwa rais wetu we pray for our president that your will be done your will be done We pray that your will be done. Your plans to be executed in this nation in the name of Jesus. To know be the downfall of every scheme of the devil. Kila makusudi ya yule mwovu, we destroy them in Jesus name. We bring them down name and we pray that lord exalt your name exalt your name in your jina lako tunaombea ma governors tunaombea mcas tunaombea viongozi wote wanaohusika wa kusiasa bwana na wakila aina in this nation the spirit of god the spirit of god to move from east to west itembe kila mahali iangamize kila madhabahu ambayo inainuliwa madhabahu ya roho chafu about your shetani we destroy them in jesus name we pray that god be exalted be magnified in the name of jesus we pray for every leader tunaombea kila kiongozi bwana roho wako atamuongoza atawaongoza katika jina la yesu there will be peace in this nation you will be blessed you will be honored because you are lord because you are lord we thank you we thank you we thank you We thank you. We speak a blessing. We speak a blessing. We prophesy to our nation. Tunatoa unabii kwa taifa letu ya kuwa roho mchafu ataingia hapa. Roho ya kishetani atatawala hapa katika jina la Yesu. But Lord you will be exalted. Count is sorted by Nina Saba. Tunatangaza nguvu zako. Tunatangaza mamlaka yako. Tunatangaza ushindi wako katika jina la Yesu. Take charge of the politics of this nation. Chukua mamlaka Bwana, siasa ya nchi hii. Shetani asiingilie kati. Katika jina la Yesu. Lakini wewe ukaiconnect na agenda yako kwa utukufu wa jina lako. We bless you and we worship you. In Jesus name, we pray and we believe. Can we shout amen? wapendo anataka kusema ni kuwa when you pray you invite the agenda of God bwana itasifiwe don't assume things will go well usiwahi fikiria ati vile unaamkanga jioni utarudi kwako usiwahi fikiria hivyo amen wake up and connect the agenda of God to this nation tuki assume Somebody's agenda will be fulfilled. Na those are Satan's agenda. Biblia nasema katika kitabu cha Yohana sura ya 10 mstari wa 10 a thief comes to steal to kill and to do what? To destroy. But I've come that you may have what? Life and have it in abundance. Kile kiko na Wakristo wengi kuna roho imeingia ya kufanya Wakristo walilax katika maombi. 
we relaxed in 207 things never went the way we wanted tuli assume ah hii ni siasa itaenda hivyo na mambo itakuwa sawa sawa but things changed because somebody had an agenda and that somebody sio mwana siasa ni the devil himself shetani mwenyewe alikuwa na agenda bwana wetu asifiwe kwa hivyo i want to challenge us as believers usiassume hata katika maisha yako usiassume wake up in the morning when you wake up in the morning and you pray you connect yourself with the agenda of god na makusudi na mipango ya nani ya mungu lakini usipoomba makusudi na mipango ya shetani ndiye atatimiza who told you ukiamuka asubuhi utarudi nani alikwambia sio lazima but when you wake up in the morning and start praying you are controlling the whole day bwana itwa sifiwe let us not be lazy believers to see our christo ambao ni wavivu because the devil takes advantage ya uvivu ya washirika ili atimize makusudi yake na biblia nasema lazima tujue mbinu za shetani we must know the schemes of the devil bwana itwa sifiwe kwa hivyo pray for this nation hata ukisikia siasa inaenda namna gani unaweza kuwa na your own political alignment hata ukiwa na political alignment yako pray for this nation bwana itwa sifiwe anything na usipuuze maombi yako usipuuze maombi yako because any time we pray remember this any time we pray we connect ourselves and we connect the nation with the agenda of god na makusudi ya mungu ndiye anaanza kutimia lakini tukikataa kuomba shetani analete makusudi yake wakati tumelala ndio biblia inasema wakati watu walilala adui alikuja usiku na kapanda nini begu mbaya when believers sleep na sana sana kulala katika maombi they are not praying anakuja na panda mbegu mbaya kwa watoto wako anapanda mbegu mbaya kwa jamii yako anapanda mbegu mbaya kwa biashara yako anapanda mbegu mbaya hata kwa taifa letu because you are asleep haleluya nimewaambia it is not normal watu wanafikiri ni normal ya kuwa kuamka na jioni urudi kwako it is not normal it takes the hand of god na lazima uamke asubuhi uconnect mungu katika uconnect uamke wewe ujiconnect na agenda ya mungu siku hiyo mwambie lord i connect myself with your agenda today na agenda ya mungu makusudi ya mungu kuhusu maisha yako they are always the best amen we have been running for 40 days of faith na leo tuko siku ya 35 we are almost finishing kwa siku zingine tano ambazo zinakuja we will be done bwana wetu asifiwe so we'll move on na itakuwa ni jambo nzuri naendelea na series yetu ya maubili ambayo nimekuwa nikiongea kuhusu building a faith that overcomes imani ambayo inashinda because we have a lot of believers with the faith they say they have faith but imani yao haiwashindani katika maisha yao na today i want to talk about something very very powerful na kitu ya maana pia katika hii maisha i want to talk about faith while you are waiting on god bwana itwa sifiwe imani unapo mngojea bwana katika hii maisha there is a concept there is a principle you cannot escape in this world waiting kungojea bwana itwa sifiwe kungojea kuna wakati sio every time you or what you want you get immediately sio kila saa kile unachohitaji unapata saa hizo you wait hata ukiona kwa daktari kuna mahali wanaita nini waiting room si ndio unangojea malizane na mwingine hata kama wewe ni mgonjwa na mna gani unangojea kwanza malizane na mwingine ili wewe uende the concept of waiting iko katika ulimwengu huu na uwezi iepuka nayo one of the most difficult thing in life is waiting bwana itwa sifiwe kungojea sio kitu rahisi we are impatient in waiting tunataka kitu kifanyike hata wakati tunaomba 
tunataka muujiza ufanyike the second day ama the first day tumeomba bwana tunaomba tenda muujiza wako ili watu wajue wewe ni Mungu si ndio tunasemanga ili watu wajue wewe ni nani ni Mungu but god has designed what we call seasons and times in this world Mungu ameweka vipindi na mambo katika wakati wake in the book of ecclesiastes biblia nasema there is a time for everything kuna wakati wa kila kitu kuna wakati wa kupanda na wakati wa kupanda sio wakati pia wa kuvuna utangojea ifike kipindi cha kufanya nini cha kuvuna kuna wakati wa kuzaliwa na kuna wakati wa kufa kuna wakati wa kulia na kuna wakati wa kucheka life is full of season one season after the other one kuna kipindi kinaitwa waiting period hallelujah hata kwa wale ambao wanamwamini bwana god will give you a vision for your life god will give you something a promise for your life it will not happen immediately you will have to wait on it ungoje bwana ili atimize kile ambacho ameweka ndani ya maisha yako a lot of people mess in the waiting period a lot of people even katika biblia tunakuta watu wengi kwa kungoja ndio wali mess waka miss the plan of god because instead of waiting they hurried waliarakisha wanataka mambo ifanyike haraka na in doing that waka kata mipango ya Mungu katika maisha yao one of them is called king saul king saul wakati mmoja alikuwa anataka kwenda vita na dhabiu ina staili kutolewa na yule alistahili kutoa dhabiu ni nani ni nabii samuel samuel akachelewa naye nani anachomeka ndani yake saul anachomeka ndani yake i need his sacrifice na staili kutolewa tuende vita akasema ah si kitu tunaonanga vile pasta nafanyanga lete hiyo nini nini si ni kumwaga tu namna hii na kumaliza hivyo natufanye na kaleti na kafanya kufanya kumaliza hivi Saul akaingia Samuel akaingia na akasema because you are not patient enough your waiting period au kuingojea vizuri God has rejected you as a king na your generation hakuna mtu atakuwa katika ufalme ametoa ufalme kutoka kwako ameteana kwa mtu anayeweza ngojea anaitwa Daudi Bwana aitwa Sifiwe waiting on God kumgoja Bwana ni kitu cha maana sana if what Saul did affected Jonathan Jonathan was a good man a warrior na angekuwa good leader but because Mungu alikataa kwa sababu ya kutongoja kwa Sauli ikafanya hata sa Jonathan the generation ikawa affected because of impatient kuna vijana wanakuangana haraka sana kuoa hata kikungoja bora kimulevi kimeingia sawa mambo iko patience is a virtue that we need to embrace as believers wait on god wacha haraka mungu bibili nasema he makes all things beautiful in his time anafanya vitu vyote zinapendeka na zinakuwa za kufurahisha kwa wakati wake na today i want to tell you may god release a faith to wait on god imani kwa maana hata kumgojea mungu it needs faith kungoja sio rahisi unafikiri kungoja ni rahisi it is not easy it's not easy it needs faith and today i want to talk about faith that waits faith faith while waiting on on god because god has good things a good example of faith ya kungoja Mungu is Abraham. Abraham waited for the promise of God for 25 years. My question is this in our generation kwa kizazi chetu can we even wait for 25 days? Wacha 25 years. Can we even wait for 25 days? Kuna watu hata siku mbili ameanza kuchemka huyu Mungu huyu Mungu huyu Mungu tuko katika ile tunaita instant generation internet eh huh? unataka unafinya tu kidore inaenda unakuja saa hii inakuja saa hizo and because of that 
the concept of waiting katika biblio katika wa kristo imekuwa watered down may i tell you mungu hakuangi na haraka anakuanga na wakati wake na he makes all things beautiful in his hallelujah bwana wetu asifiwe let's read in the book of i want to read some two scriptures then we know because the question i want to answer on this kile ambacho mungu ameweka ndani ya moyo wangu na nataka kuanza katika hii ni the question what are you doing because during waiting time that is what we call the faith of waiting on god wakati unangojea kile mungu anataka kutimiza katika maisha yako what should you be doing I want to answer that question na nimalize ujumbe wangu siku ya leo. Let's open our Bible in the book of uh, Nianze na mstari wa ngapi na Isaiah, a very common scripture. We know this. Isaiah 40 from verse 29. Isaiah 40 verse 29 from verse 29. Biblia inasema namna gani? 29, 29. 29, 29, that is that one 29. 29. Yes. Biblia inasema he gives us strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak anaachilia nguvu kwa wale ambao wamechoka and gives strength increases power to the weak verse 30 verse 30 uh-huh. even the youth wale vijana the youth here inamaanisha watu ambao wanajulikana wako na nguvu because biblia inasema i write to you young men because you are strong amen so the bible says even the youth at times who are strong they grow tired and weary and young men stumble and do what they fall wanajitega na wanafanya nini wanaanguka aha verse that one verse that one but those who hope in god and king james version nasema but those who wait on god and god aha but those yes king james version but those that wait upon the lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings as eagles they shall run and not be weary and they shall walk and not what do what faint those who wait on god kumgodea bwana kunaachilia nguvu mpya ndani yetu there is a new release of strength when you wait on god wakati wa rakishi mambo unangojea bwana there is a release of new strength a release of new faith a release of new hope bwana wetu asifiwe na that's why we need waiting on god the bible talks a lot in fact ngianza kuongea kuhusu kumgojea bwana the bible talks a lot on the waiting on god but today i want to focus on 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 one man anaitwa abraham abraham is a good example yeah how we can wait on god bwana itwa sifiwe vile tunaweza mgojea hata yeye alimess he even missed but he waited on god bwana itwa sifiwe kwa maana kumgojea mungu sio kitu rahisi waiting on the promises of god sio kitu rahisi kuna six phases that i want to go through that abraham went through that will help us to see how to wait on god bwana itwa sifiwe there are six phases kuna 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 nini phases sita abraham alipitia na we pass through these phases is very important after that i will look into the book of romans chapter 4 chapter 4 romans chapter 4 from verse 17 to 21 to one how paul now tells us vile Abraham he was what Abraham was doing while he was waiting for, to be a father of the nations Abraham alijua Mungu amemwita na atakuwa baba wa nini wa mataifa lakini for him to start your step ya kwanza lazima angepata mtoto waiting on that took 25 years what was Abraham doing for 25 years as he was waiting on God before i go to that let's go to the six phases ya Abraham ambaye alipitia phase number one, we find it in the book of genesis 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 number what genesis chapter 12 verse 2 genesis chapter 12 verse 2 what does the bible says genesis 
12. Uh -huh. And I will make thee a great nation. And I will bless thee and make thy name great. And thou shall be a blessing. Face ya kwanza ambao Abraham alipitia ni ile face tunaita ya receiving God's dream kupokea ndoto kupokea maono katika maisha Bwana aitwa Sefio God begins everything by giving dreams and vision to his people Abraham was around 75 years in chapter 12 then God appeared to him akamwambia ukiwa na hiyo miaka 77 Mimi nataka kukufanya baba wa mataifa. I will bless you. Every time if there's anything we must achieve in this world, inaanza na maono katika maisha yetu. Bwana aitwa Sefio. A vision. Vision. What do you want to do? Where is God taking you? Where is God taking your family? Now I've been challenging this church now and I will challenge it again. Ya kuwa, wa we need to receive visions in our life. We don't just live. We live under the vision that Mungu wa metupa. Bwana wetu wa sifuye. So, face ya kwanza, katika kumgojea bwana, na katika imani ya kumgojea bwana, ni kuwa Mungu alilete maono na ndoto katika maisha ya Abraham. Akamletea ndoto, akamwambia, nita kubariki na nita kufanya a great nation. And I will bless thee and make thy name great. And thou shalt be a blessing. Na we utakuwa nini? Baraka. That was just a dream. That was just a dream and a vision. From a dream, we go to the second phase. Phase ya kwanza ni lazima upoke maono katika maisha yako. Phase ya pili, iko katika sura hiyo ya kuminambili. Chapter, Genesis chapter 12, verse 4a. The Bible says what? Uh -huh. Verse 4. So Abraham departed as the Lord had spoken to him. Bwana it was a fear. Abraham akaondoka kama vile bwana alivyo muzungumzia. Mungu alimpa maono, Abraham akachukua ile maono, the second the second phase katika 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 jambo hili ni the decision and taking a step. You can have a dream but it is just a dream kama ina action. Bwana ito wasefiwe. Maono itakuwa tu maono kama ina nini? Matendo. The second phase we see ni kuwa, Abraham akakubadiana na mungu wakasema, yes God, I will be a father of a great nation. So nitatoka kwa inchi yetu, nitaenda mahali umeniambia. So he departed as the Lord had told him. Kusikiza bwana na kumfuata. Face ya pili, tunona ni face ambayo ni a decision making. You make a decision to move with God. To move with the plan of God. To walk with God. Bwana wetu wa sifuwe. So Abraham, when God gives us a dream, he needs us to act on it with an action. Face ya tatu. So face ya kwanza ni ndoto. Face ya pili, ni take action. Unakubaliana na mungu. Na kutambia katika njiyake. Face ya tatu, iko Genesis chapter 16, verse 1. Now, between, let me tell you ndio ujue what is happening here. Between Genesis chapter 12 and Genesis chapter 16, 10 years has passed. Miaka ngapi? Kumi. So Genesis 12, Abraham is 75 years. Genesis 16, Abraham is how many years? Is how many years? 85 Genesis chapter 16 is 85 years 10 years since God spoke to him Yakua Abraham I will make you a great nation and I will bless you but 16 years kuna kitu kimefanyika aha biblia nasema namna gani 16 now Sarai Abraham's wife had borne him no child 10 years ahadi ya Mungu haijatimia Mungu alisema I'll make you a great father na mke wako atapata mtoto na miaka kumi hajapata mtoto Abraham Biblia nasema born him no child but she had an Egyptian maid said, named who Aga So the third phase ni ile phase tunaita the delay phase kucheleweshwa In every vision there is a delay phase Bwana itosifia It never happens 
Hakuna ndoto inatendekanga siku moja. Hata mtoto hazali yangu ina siku moja, Bwana itwa sifiwe. Anazali wangu baada ya miezi tisa ikiwa mama ame conceive, si ndio? Bwana itwa sifiwe. Kwa hivyo this the delay, the delay phase ambayo ilikuja. Ten year past na kukuwa na mtoto na it is during delay time ndio temptation inaingianga kwa watu wengi. Wakati Mungu anachelewesha hiyo kitu ambayo ameweka ndani ya maisha yako. The vision he has given for your family, the vision he has given to you. When that delay is there, that is where men and women fall into temptation. Hapo ndipo wanaingia. Baada ya miaka kumi Sara akaangalia vile mambo iko na naona mimi miaka yangu ni kusonga mbele inasonga na sipati mtoto akaambia Abraham yes i think you confused the call of god vile Mungu alikuwa anakuzungumza ni kama ukusikia mzu pengine hakusema ni mimi si tuna mjakazi hapa eh chukua mjakazi huyu upate mtoto naye si ni bado ni mtoto wako na Mungu atambariki that is where people mess May God give you spirit of patience in Jesus name. Kiasi ya kwamba during delay usichanganyikiwe. Hapo ndipo watu wanaingianga katika mtego na kuingia na kuanza kutoka katika mapenzi ya Mungu. Wanaanza kutoka katika mapenzi ya Mungu. Kutoka kwa delay period tunaenda in Genesis chapter 17. That is phase number 4. Phase number 4 which we call hiyo ilikuwa delay. Phase number 4 Biblia nasema namna gani? Genesis chapter 17 verse 17. Then Abraham fell on his face and laughed and said to himself, Will a son be born to a man a hundred years old? Will Sarah bear a child at the age of 90? Hallelujah. Bwana itwa sifiwe. So Genesis 16 and Genesis 17, how many years? How many years? 15 years. 15 years Genesis 16 and Genesis 17 15 years Mungu sasa natokea Abraham na kumwambia wakati wangu umefanya nini umefika This is what we call the face of difficulty difficulty wakati wa ungumu Mimi ni miaka mia moja. wanasayansi wanasema siwezi pata mtoto Unaona difficult unaona ni kana kwamba Mungu alisahau God forgot you. He gave you a vision. Amekupa ndoto na ni kama alikusahau. Remember this God does not forget. Men can forget but God cannot forget. Kama kuna kitu amenena katika maisha yako, he will surely do it. So hii ni face ile tunaita ya ungumu. Problems develop when we wait on God. Amen. Wakati tunamgojea bwana shida zinaanzanga kutokea. Na many times it is the breaking point of many families, many people because kila wakati watu wanaanza kupitia ngumu, hapo ndipo watu wanaona ni kana kwamba Mungu amewaachilia. God does not left you. It is a stage called the difficult stage. Bwana itwa sifiwe. Tulimaliza ibada ya kwanza na baada ya kumaliza ibada ya kwanza, mtu mmoja kaja katika ofisi yangu na kanembia pasta kile neno umenena mimi tulipitia shida na mume wangu lakini saa hii tunaanza kuona kuna kitu Mungu anatenda bwana wetu asifiwe there is a stage inaitwa ya ngumu difficult mnajaribu kupanga hii aingiani hii aingiani hii aingiani hata kuelewana amuelewani it is a stage it does not mean god has left you It is a stage when you are waiting for the promises of God. Bwana wetu asifiwe. So, develop problems come up. Eh? Abraham aliposikia malaika anamwambia sasa Mungu atamtembelea. Next year Mungu anakuja na atapea mtoto. Aliangalia chini na akacheka baada ya kulia. Akasema mwanaume mwenye miaka mia moja na mama mwenye miaka tisaini atu watapata mtoto sasa next year nikiwa 101 na huyu mama akiwa 99 ati ndio tutapata mwaka akacheka because it looked impossible may god remove that spirit of impossibility in the name of jesus phase 
phase 5. So phase 4 is difficult stage. Phase 5 is in Genesis chapter 22 verse 1. This one, I call it the test, the, 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 the stage of testing. I'm a dead end. Testing. Kipindi cha test. Every vision must be tested. Every promise, every family must pass a test. So, Bibiria na semana mnagani? Genesis chapter 22 verse 1. Mutoto sasa mezaliwa. Ile difficult stage imepita. Mutoto sasa mezaliwa. Na ni kijana mkubwa. Sio kijana mdogo. Kijana mkubwa. Bibiria na semana. Sometime later, God tested Abraham. He said to him, Abraham, here I am. He replied. Mr. Wapili? Aha. Then God said, take your son, your only son, Isaac, whom you love, and go to the region of Moriah. Sacrifice him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains, I will tell you. So the fourth stage, the fifth stage, is the stage of difficulties. A stage of testing. Dead end. Testing. This was God's test of faith. God allows our dreams and vision and even our families to pass through what we call the test of faith. One night was fear. I talked about the test of faith. Amen. Testing of our faith. So even in stage in Guinea, your faith is being tested. Kuna wengine pengine mukoyo stage, your faith is being tested. Do you love God or do you love what God has given you? Amen. Because that is the major test. Unapenda mungu ama kazi yako kuliko kile mungu. Unapenda mungu ama kuliko biashara yako kuliko. What do you love? It is a testing. Ili makusudi ya mungu ya kaweze. And the last stage, the last stage, the last stage, ambao Abraham alipitia, na which we pass through also, is the stage in Genesis chapter 22, verse 12. Genesis chapter 22. Do not lay hold on the boy. He said, do nothing. Now I know that you fear God because you have not withheld from me your son, your only son. We call it the deliverance stage phase. This is a time God shows up. When you are almost giving up, God shows up. When you thought everything is dead, Mimi kile nimejaribu, kile kwa uwezo wangu, nimeomba, nimefanya nini, kile jambo, na nikaribu kila kitu imeisha. Then God suddenly shows up and fulfills the promise he called you. May God give you that stage in Jesus' name. Ili tukifika hapo, we can stand and praise God. Bwana wetu wa sifuwe. So, that is the faces that Abraham passed through. Now, the question is this. What was Abraham doing while waiting on God? Four things, and I want to finish with. Now, here's the four things to know and to Paulo. In the room, book of Romans, Romans chapter 4, verse 17 to 21. Romans chapter 4, verse 17 to 21. Let's go there. Four faces. The first phase uh, the, no, no. Four, four, four things that we need to do when we are waiting on God. Four things we need to do. The first one is in verse 17. In Asama, at this it is written, I have made you a father of many nations. This is Abraham. I've made you a father of many nations. He is our father in the sight of God, in whom he believed. The God who gives life to the dead and calls things that are not as though they were. So the first thing we need to do while we are waiting on God is focus. Focus on God. Focus on what God can do but not what you can do. So wakati Abraham alikuwa na mgojea mungu aliweka imani yake na tumaini lake kwa mungu. Some things, my brethren, wakati mingine, while situations may be out of control, it is not out of control in God. Bwana ito sifuwa. Kuna njia tunaweza fika, tuwane hii, mi sitaweza. Hii menishinda. Na diyo bibiri nasema, he calls those things 
the God who gives life to the dead and calls those things that are not as though they were. Mungu huita vitu ambazo haviyuko vinakuweko. Mungu fungua njia mahali ambapo njia haionekani. Mungu anafunguanga baraka mahali watu wanaona hakuna baraka. Bwana yetu asifiwe. Unaweza angalia mzee wako useme hii ni kitu gani hii nilibarikiwa nayo. Kwa hiyo kitu ambayo huoni baraka kumbe Mungu ameweka baraka za kubariki wewe maisha yako na jamii yako yote. Because God calls things that are not as though they were. So while we are waiting on God, don't focus on your abilities. Focus on what God can do. Mungu alisema mimi sijui ni njia gani lakini ninajua itatimia. Bwana wetu asifiwe. God said he will do. Luke chapter 18 verse 27 inasema namna gani? Luke 18 verse 27. Things which are impossible with men are possible with God. Mungu ana uwezo wa kufanya kile mwanadamu hawezi kufanya. While we are waiting on God, don't focus on yourself. Focus on what God can do. Wake mtazamo wako, fix your eyes unto Jesus fix your eyes abraham hakuweka imani yake kwake mwenyewe ha huh? abraham aliweka imani yake kwa mungu alimwamini mungu we are living in a period where a lot of things are happening bwana it was a fear things are not going well but they will be well so you are waiting ndio nasumbua watu wengi we are in a waiting period right now kuna mtu anangojea biashara yake ipanuke. Kuna mtu anangojea kazi ifunguke. Kwa maana ile nyingine ilifungwa. Kuna mtu anangojea muujiza fulani. Focus on God, don't focus on what is happening. Because if you focus on what is happening, you will be discouraged. Utashushika moyo ndugu yangu. Dada yangu utashushika kama Abraham ange focus na, ma, na miaka yake zaidi angechushika moyo hata angeambie mke wake tusitegemee huyu mungu tena turudi kwetu nyumbani tulitoka kwetu turudi kwetu turudi huko tulitoka don't focus on what is happening focus on god lift up your eyes to god hallelujah so while you are waiting for god to fix what he is fixing while you are waiting for your miracle while you are waiting for the vision focus on god are we together kama tuko pamoja can somebody shout amen Bwana yetu asifiwe. The second thing we need to do while we are waiting on God is in verse 18. Verse 18. Biblia inasema, "Who contrary on hope?" Aha. Uh-huh. Against all hope, Abraham hoped. Abraham in hope believed, and so he became father of many nations. Just as it has been said, so shall your offspring be. Amen. The second thing we need to do is number one, I've said focus on God number two is tr- trust God's promises amini ahadi za mungu hata wakati azitaki kuaminika amini this is what this verse is saying against all hope Abraham aliangalia kasema nyo mungu alisema nitapata mtoto lakini niko miaka miya moja Ukweli ni kwamba miaka mia moja siwezi pata mtoto lakini aliamini Mungu hata wakati watu hawakustahili kuamini Mungu Do you know you can know there is a promise of God na unaona vile mambo inaenda hiyo na hadi ni kama iwezi timia I've come to tell you don't trust on what you are feeling Unaweza kuwa mgonjwa don't trust on that trust on the promise of God What has God said That is more important the word of God even when it looks hopeless wakati lionekana ya kuwa hakuna tumaini Abraham ya tumaini ya Abraham kupata watoto Abraham still believed he can get a child <laughs> Hallelujah Si Mungu alisema yes he will do it Bwana wetu asifiwe We need to look at things from the promises of God katika ahadi ya, uh, ya, ya katika ahadi ya ndio Hebrews chapter 11 verse 17 nasema aje by faith Abraham when he was tested offered up Isaac and he who received the promises offered up his only begotten son bwana wetu asifiwe 
So, when you are in the period of waiting, trust in God's promises. Trust in God's promises. Trust in the word of God. Neno la mungu. Amini ilo neno la mungu. Because the word of God is powerful. I was telling the first service Yakua, I am here because of what God spoke to me in 1991. One word in 1991. The word of God. God's word can give you life and life and life. Trust in the promises of God because that's where God focuses on. And number number three, number three, what what while you are waiting on God, the that thing that you should do while waiting on God, while waiting on God is in verse 19 and 20. Verse 19 and 20. Nasema, without weakening, weakening in his faith, he faced the fact that his body was as good as dead since he was about a hundred years old and that Sarah's womb was also dead. Aha, let's go verse 20. Verse 20. Yet he did not waver through and believe. I like that. Yet he did not waver through and believe regarding the promise of God, but he was strengthened in his faith and gave glory to God. The fourth step that we need, the third step that that thing we need to, to do when we are waiting on God ni face the facts. Kubariana na kile kinacho tendeka. Faith does not deny reality. Faith says this is the real thing but this is what God has said about this. So Abraham alijua wump ama nyumba ya, ya Sarah ilikuwa imekufa kwa miaka 90 ainge pata mtoto lakini alijua hii imekufa but Mungu amesema itapata mtoto imekufa na itapata mtoto faith does not deny reality this is the way things are covid 19 is killing people imeharibu mambo mengi imefanya nini but god has said he will restore us again bwana ito sifiwe bwana sifiwe God has, so that, that's why the Bible says yet he did not waver through the unbelief. Haku changanyikiwa. Kuna watu wana changanyikiwa. Wana changanyikiwa. Vijana wana changanyikiwa. Anaona mefika miaka furani. Anaanza kuchanganyikiwa. Anasema, eh, hey, hii miaka, he? Eh? Mimi ni kama sita olewa. Ni kama sita owa. Mutu ni kujitafutia. He? Eh? Kwanza kuna musemo siju watu walitoanga wapi. Ati mungu anasedianga ule mutu anajisaidia. Nani nisema hivyo? The promises of God are yes and amen. Wait on God. I have a friend of mine in Zimbabwe. Ule niliena kutembele uko for almost one month na tukakana ye uko. He got married when he was a man. Sio, sio, sio mama sasa makijana. He got married when he was 43 years old. Hapo ndi alioa. Miaka rubeni na tatu. Watu wakasema nini? Na mambo mengi. That's when he got married. Na kaoa a professor wa university. Kumbe mungu walikuwa na mchelewesa ndi apate professor. Na hea kuwa najua. Bwana wetu wa sifiwe. And remember this. God's time is the best. He makes things beautiful in his time. Usiseme ya kuwa ati mimi Abraham alipata mtoto Akiwa na miaka miyamoja Baka kanza kucheka Akasema ta watu watafanya nini Watanichekelea Lakini kumbo uyo mtoto Ndi alikuwa mulango ya Abraham Kuwa the great father of faith Wait for your time, don't rush huh? Najwa vijana wengi in this generation Na narashi sana Sema nani one thing that inafanyanga watu wa simgoje mungu ni kushindana. Competition. Remember your life is different with another person. Hau kuzaliwa siku moja. Na utakufa siku moja. Na pia baraka zenyu azite na palipa moja. Kuna mutu atabarikiwa mbele yako. Na kuna mutu atabarikiwa nyuma yako. Bwana yetu wa sifio. Kuna watu atabarikiwa mbele yako. Kuna watu kama ni kuolewa watolewa mbele yako. Na pengine hata ni nianga kukuliko. Hata kuo watawa mbele yako. Lakini pia kumbuka kuna wengine pia watawa nyuma yako. Baada ya wewe kumaliza yako, 
kuna wengine pia wata, watapokea baraka zao bwana aitwe sifiwe so wait on god face the facts face the facts but just know that with god everything is possible and the last thing the last thing on waiting on god is what we call expectation be always rejoice in anticipation always expect it is expecting god to act to good even it is not the way we planned bwana aitwe sifiwe unatarajia mungu atatimiza expect from god the last thing as you are waiting on god we expect from god that is in verse 20 verse 20 to 21 verse 20 to 21 expect on god expect because god does not lie bwana aitwe sifiwe mwanadamu anaweza kukupea agano yake na apungue lakini Mungu anatimiza agano lake. I want to declare to you this morning, this afternoon that you might be waiting for something that you feel Mungu alikuwa ameweka katika moyo wako. You are waiting for a miracle. You are waiting for God to do something. Listen to me. Jambo la kwanza put your focus on God. Usi put your focus on the negative things. Bwana aitwe sifiwe put your focus on god number two, believe in god's promises trust them and number three, kubaliana na vile vitu zinaenda but have faith as you accept the facts amen and number four, wait in expectation god fulfills his promises between malachi which is the last book in in nini inaitwa nini Old Testament na Matthew there was a period which was called the period of silence wana theolojia wanaita kipindi cha unyamazo God never spoke to the land of Israel no prophet was raised during that time there was no prophet watu tu walikuwa naendelea na maisha yake namna hiyo mpaka Matthew in the book of Matthew when nani alipozaliwa John the Baptist ndio kukawa na revival that God now is speaking to people Bwana aitwe sifiwe. During that period of time is called the period of silence. Ya miaka kadhaa. Ni kama kuna kitu kilikuwa kinatendeka. There's a period in your life you will see ni kama kuna silence. Even God is not talking. Hata Mungu ni kama ongei. Unakuja kanisani unasikiza pastor na ni kama hata ongei. Anaongea kwa watu wengine, anafanya miujiza kwa watu wengine. Kuna vitu vinatendeka kwa watu wengine. Kwako kwa kutendeki. Listen, he makes all things beautiful in his time. Anangojea tu wakati wake ili akuje akutembelee na watu wataanza kufurahia. Bwana aitwe asifiwe. I was so surprised katika hiyo baada ibada ya kwanza mtu kuja na kumwaga machozi katika ofisi yangu na kusema now i can see things are moving in my life kwa miaka hiyo yote karibu miaka 20 pasta 20 theradhini hakuna kitu ilikuwa inaonekana inasonga mbele ni mimi kusumbuana na mzee wangu tunasumbuana miaka kumi tunasumbuana miaka 20 tunasumbuana miaka 25 ni kama lakini saa hii baka na mwaga machozi things are now moving Bwana wetu asifiwe because God makes everything beautiful in his time. Sio wakati wako, yote inafanywa iwe nzuri kwa wakati wa Mungu. I have come to tell you sometimes you need to wait. Don't rush. Usiharakisha na Mungu hajakusahau. Vile haja kufanyia muujiza jana na leo, si eti amekusahau. No. God you are still in the agenda of God. Uko katika list ya Mungu. Hata malizia wengine ikifika kwako utacheka utafurahia na everybody will know that God has visited you. Amen. Let's stand. Let's stand. Let's stand and thank God. Tusimame na tuweze kuomba. Your time is coming. Salimia jirani yako na umsalimie tu namna hii na hivi makofi unaposimama umwambie your time is coming. Mwambie your time is coming. Just wait on the Lord. Mungoje tu Bwana wakati wako unakuja. Wengine this week your time will arrive. Wengine next month your time will come. 
wengine mtatelesha kidogo mpaka 2021 but what i want to tell you your time will come wakati wako utafika kuna kiwete alikaa miaka mingi katika ile kisima cha cha uponyaji na nikaza kwamba wengine walikuwa na wanabarikiwa wanapona yeye hakujua wakati wake ulikuja siku moja Yesu akapita mahali pale na akamwambia ungependa kupona akamwambia wacha niambie kupona wacha nikupe historia yangu nimekaa hapa miaka mingi na kila nikikaa malaika akishuka chini na kuchipua maji ni wengine wanapona mimi siponi Yesu akamwambia now don't focus on what other God has done to others because today today sema today today atafanya kwako aliponya wale wengine lakini leo anaponya kwako your time is coming your time is coming Your miracle is coming. Umengojea miaka mingi, endelee kugojea. Your miracle is coming. Your time is coming. Inua mikono yako na umwambie Bwana ni asante. Just worship the Lord. Thank him. Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you for the miracle is on the way. Miujiza yetu inakuja. Tunaweza onekana tumengojea kwa muda. Bwana kuna wengine wanasikia wamechoka wamekuja kanisani they have believed in you they have trusted in you but lord thank you because you are making everything beautiful kila kitu unakifanya kinafaa katika wakati wake uko hapa asubuhi ya leo na kuna jambo umengojea kwa muda i want to release an anointing upon your life i want to pray with you that it will delay no more in Jesus name that God will do it at his right time kwa hapo na unasema pastor kuna kitu nimekuwa nikikojea na ni kama hata nimekufa moyo just lift up your hand i want to pray with you kama kuna mtu kama huyo father in jesus name i join my faith na unganisha imani yangu na imani ya wale wameinua mikono yao lord i break every spirit of delay kila kitu ambacho kilileta doubt ya kuwa hii inaweza iwezi tendeka i pray let it happen in jesus name make it beautiful ifanye ya kufurahisha leta furaha leta furaha sasa leta kicheko kama vile ulileta kicheko kwa maisha ya abraham bring laughter joy and peace in the name of jesus i declare your peace i declare your power i declare an anointing i release an anointing i release an anointing an anointing of it happening in jesus name no more delay 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 in jesus name let it happen lord wacha itendeke na utukuzwe teremsha mkono wako kanisa mzima tuinue mikono mbele za bwana lord i declare your promises they are true and they meant to every member in this church bwana natangaza ahadi zako ni kweli naamina kwa kila mshirika mahali hapa awe ni mtoto mdogo awe ni waida gani awe ni msichana awe ni kijana awe ni mzee awe ni mama ninatangaza ahadi zako ni za kweli na ni za amina watembelee watu wako tembelee kanisa hili baada ya siku 40 za imani visit your people visit families tembelee jamii wote kilikicheko wote uponyaji wote uzima wote amani katika jina la Yesu katika jina la Yesu we thank you and we bless you thank you because you are a faithful god you fulfill your promises and we say thank you roho ya kuchanganyikiwa na ikataa katika jina la Yesu roho ya kuchanganyikiwa i refuse it in jesus name i pray that your spirit will release your blessing juma inayokuja natangaza baraka kwa wapendwa hao walinde na mabaya yote na kutembea pamoja nao katika jina la baba na la mwana na roho mtakatifu nimeomba na kubariki watu wako join us on our social media platforms facebook page and youtube channel as housing kg god bless you